Leftovers. Yeah. Mmm. It's Leftovers, where I read the jokes that we didn't use this week, and as always, it's my first time reading them. So if they suck, we'll throw Mackie into a meat grinder and make Mackie meatballs. And, <laughs> and then force feed them to Steve Ducey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Up first, uh, medical researchers say nose picking can lead to memory loss. <laughs> I really don't have to say anything. <laughs> oh, this is easy. Well, speaking of Joe, yesterday, a special counsel investigating Joe Biden's classified documents called him an elderly man with a poor men memory. <laughs> Hate to be that guy, says one man. <laughs> oh, damn. Meanwhile, a new study shows erectile dysfunction medications might lower the risk of Alzheimer's in elderly men. <laughs> Sorry, there's only so much I can do, says one woman. <laughs> yeah. Earlier at a campaign event, Biden claimed he spoke with Francois Mitterrand years after the French president's death. He also claimed he spoke with Helmut Kohl, who's also dead. <laughs> it had AIDS in a panic, but it turns out Dr. Jill had just replaced his iPhone with this. <laughs> and in last night's presser, President Biden also mixed up Mexico and Egypt. Uh, it's an easy mistake to make. They're both countries. <laughs> Meanwhile, on CNN, Jeffrey Tubin said the comments about Joe Biden in the report were inappropriate. <laughs> and I know inappropriate, he said, <laughs> while feverishly masturbating in front of his coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> One after the other. Now, as you already know, Joe says he's not going to do that traditional Super Bowl halftime interview. But thankfully, CBS found a replacement that's just as articulate. <laughs> so, many people are wondering, how is Vice President Kamala Harris reacting to Biden's performance? We go now live to the VP. I think we, uh, we could probably move on. I think we can move on now. So Delta Airlines announced plans for new airport lounges, but only for premium members. In response, Alaska Airlines invited all flyers to enjoy their open door <laughs> policy. <laughs> yeah. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg declined to answer. <laughs> wow. All right, settle down, boys. <laughs> Bragg declined to answer why seven illegal immigrants who attacked cops were released without bail. He also refused to answer why his lawn and hedges look fantastic. <laughs> yeah. This week, King Charles was diagnosed with a form of cancer. Doctors say the cancer has been around for eight years, is five feet six inches, and has dark brown hair. <laughs> Squatters took over 1,200 homes in Atlanta and opened illegal strip clubs. In related news, Hunter Biden moved to Atlanta. <laughs> Finnish Air, otherwise known as Finn Air, announced it will start weighing passengers. If this catches on here, there goes ABC's travel budget. <laughs> Speaking of The View, Sonny Hostin, when appearing on an Ancestry program, just found out that she's a descendant of slave owners. Yeah, yeah I know. 
Not to be outdone, Joy Behar found out she's a descendant of slave ships. <laughs> It's funny, because they're big. <laughs> a drunk and fully naked Florida man was arrested after he was caught strolling through an airport terminal. Luckily, he only had one bag to check. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Dana. I'm sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> but if I said one testicle to check, it wouldn't work. <laughs> Disney is reportedly considering replacing Johnny Depp's character, Jack Sparrow, with a female. But we hear Amber Heard is free, and she knows how to swab a poop deck. It's worked perfectly. Torrential rain has brought record flooding to Southern California. Fortunately, though, hundreds of residents have been able to stay dry by taking shelter under Kim Kardashian's ass. <laughs> That's not a mudslide. <laughs> yeah, took it too far. Finally, during a recent interview, actor Henry Cavill, or whatever his name is, said he's not a fan of sex scenes. He joins many other people who hate them, especially those who don't have sex at all. <laughs> Sorry, Joe.